Today I'm going to talk about how we make fabrics to make small items. For example, if we want to make a uh, zipper pouch like this, this simple zipper pouch uh, with this zipper pouch is with lining and um, in my extension project for my uh, beginner's course actually I have a extension project whereby after making the six line zipper pouch we make this uh, nine line zipper pouch with lining this zipper pouch is with lining right so this is a small item so uh, if we want to make a, a small item can we create our own fabric to make it with strips like this uh, if I have scraps right scraps we are on the scrap series so if we have strips we can join them together and make a panel that is big enough for for example for this pouch so this will be a regular just joining strips together and we can turn this into a pouch top right the fabric for the pouch but I thought I will do something different uh, uh, today yes I have joined them joined the, the the strips together but I am going to do something uh, different so I probably named this making dancing dancing bars right so bars as in bar bar chart it's something like a bar chart but it's a dancing up and down sort of so I will call it that and I'm, uh, I will need to be at the um, uh, what do you call uh, sewing machine to, to show you so we will need these strips of fabric already joined together I have already joined them together ironed them so this is one whole strips right and this strip is larger than my actually my pouch size it's larger when I'm making then you will know why it has to be larger okay and I will need a lining fabric already so this is the lining fabric and I'm going to sew this onto the lining as a guide right so firstly I'm going to place this a little bit of this here on the lining and I'm going to cut okay the right side on the lining and I'm going to cut from the left side I'm not even um, uh, I'm not it, it's up to you whether you want to keep it straight if it's you want it straight then you uh, uh, draw lines then cut I'm I, I thought I, I I don't want it straight I will just cut like this okay this this is the whole strip right the right side I'm going to sew onto this lining fabric so I'm going to cut from the left side to join to the right side okay so I'm just going to cut a strip uh, however wide up to you I'm just going to cut eyeball and cut it doesn't have to be absolutely straight so I'm going to bring it to this side and here I'm going to start here and I'm going to join it here right but I'm not going to join it same length I'm going to let this dark side uh, jut out slightly here can you see so this is supposed to be about the same same length right? I have cut this out to be same but then when I cut this out when I join here I'm going to join it slightly on top can you see the difference in the height and I'm going to sew a one presser foot distance here to join and I'm going to cut another strip and I will keep on joining I'm at the sewing machine so I'm going to go in and sew here a presser foot distance so there are three layers of fabric uh, with the lining at the bottom this one here in the middle and the one that I cut here on top with here a bit out right
So, what I do is I finger press it open here. So now this is misaligned slightly, right? So here this is misaligned. Right? So now I'm going to cut another piece from the left side. It doesn't have to be the same width, it can be wider or narrower, entirely up to you. Right? I'm going to bring it to this side. Now, I'm going to join this slightly lower than the first strip. Slightly lower. Right? And still two layers. Right? This one, I finger press. Here, I finger press. This pressing is important so that it doesn't, here doesn't bunch up. Uh. Here, if you want to, you can use a roller. That what I use is, I use, this is a glass bottle. I roll it over like that. If you find that finger pressing is not strong enough, right? So, that's how I do that. And I join here. And the next strip. This is what we have created, dancing bars. It, uh, against just now, it was just straight line. So we have like bar chart up and down, up and down, or like stairs, right? So when we have dark colors and light colors, it becomes very apparent, this up and down. So um, for to make my panel for the pouch, I need... Uh, at, at least eight and a half to nine inch width. So let's measure and see whether we can get that because this this width of the lining was uh, nine inch, I believe. So I, I think we will have a bit less than nine inch, probably about eight and a half inch. Let's uh, let me get the so from here to here about eight and a half inch about eight and a half inch so what we need to do now is to cut it so these are the jagged parts right so we cut it the lowest part is here so we will cut here cut it off and then this part the ending part is also jagged so we will level it off here right let me just eyeball and cut and see in the end how big a piece we will have. So, out of here, 
the lowest is about I think it's about here or here right so we will just cut this extras off So now we have this panel that is not just a strip but it has some patterns to it, right? And we can use this to make our pouch. We have made another piece of fabric which is not just ordinarily strip joined together, right? I hope you like this method of making another fabric.